Okay. Beat him. I'm gonna show y'all boys where I'm from, man. I'm from that Texas. What's the deal, baby? You already know it is the big boss hoe. Bounce down. Can't pull through the dope. Here to talk this. Box. You see, I'm texting up today, man. You know, I gotta get the new jersey, though. You know what I'm saying? You know, I'm gonna get the new one, but how y'all doing? Here we tell times all that's good people do. Don't knock yourself, call that mental health. Now, remember, you matter. All right, peep game. Y'all gotta learn to separate your feelings from boxing, right? There's too many bud brothers on here that can't separate their feelings from boxing, right? And that's just, I'm, I'm not only talking to them. I mean, I'm mainly talking to them. I'm talking to everybody. Right? The Canelo fans do that. Some of the Tim Zoo fans do that. Me and the Tim Zoo fans actually got cool. You know what I'm saying? We got they actually more understandable. Like, you know what I'm saying? The Bud Buddies, there's no comprehend. They don't understand. They retarded. It's like, bro, you you got facts that you prove that you showing them. Oh nah, man. I think that bro. Like when I sit there and say Terrence Crawford can't sell, oh Terrence Crawford. Cause he can he can go to the uh Nebraska Cornhusker Stadium and he can do ninety seven thousand in there. Terrence Crawford ain't did ninety seven thousand in that little stadium. He be fighting that way. He fighting. What are you? What are you talking about? What is you saying? Like, bro. So you go. So you're telling me half of Omaha, Nebraska. You know, or a third or a quarter of Omaha, Nebraska is going to come out to Terrence Crawford's fight against Sebastian Fundora? May happen, may not. But all I'm saying is at the end of the day, you got to separate your feelings from the facts in boxing, right? Because when you sit here and say Terrence Crawford can't sell, oh, so you said Terrence Crawford don't deserve the fight? It's not about who deserves it or not. That's not what it's about. It's about who going to make the most money. And Fondor is looking at Errol and he like, he going to make the most money. I don't understand what y'all don't understand about that. He's looking at Errol Spence and he like, I'm going to make the most coin if I fight Errol. He will get the respect if he fights Terrence Crawford and beats Terrence Crawford. Because Terrence Crawford is looked at as pound for pound number one on many people's list, not on mine. Right? That's all I'm saying. He's looked at as the, high, the guy, the head honcho. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, Fondura could fight him, right? For the integrity and respect thing. But him fighting Errol. He gets the integrity, the respect, and he get paid. He's getting more revenue fighting Errol. You don't make more money because you beat Errol Spence. This is what y'all are using. Some of y'all are using this as like, well, he beat Errol. Okay, what does that mean? He beat Errol Spence at welterweight, right? I thought he beat Errol Spence. He's not a bigger star than Errol Spence. That's just what it is. Dimitri Bivol beat Canelo. Is Dimitri Bivol a bigger uh, draw than Canelo? No. What are we talking about? Come on, bro. We got to stop with the madness, bro. I know y'all, look, I know y'all diehard fans for Crawford. That's cool. I don't understand it, but that's cool. I'm a fan of Terrence Crawford as well, but I'm not going to sit here and Ignore the facts in boxing. That's not what I'm going to do. I'm not going to ignore facts. You can't disprove what I'm telling you. Everything I say is facts. The only thing, opinion, if it's an opinion, I say, hey, I think Fondora beats uh, Crawford. That's an opinion. I'm just using that as an example. I'm not saying I'm thinking that. I think Fondora beats Crawford. Or I think Fondora beats Earl. I'm using that as an example. I'm not saying I'm thinking those things. That's an opinion. You feel me? But y'all boys cannot separate the two. Y'all running with it. Like, oh, oh, oh. 
because y'all looking at Crawford B. Earl. So Earl Spence, you know, it, it, how is Earl Spence a bigger draw? That doesn't mean anything. When it comes to the business of boxing, you're, you're, you're talking about supply and demand. You're talking about business, right? There's a market for Earl Spence. Earl Spence has fought in different markets. He's fought in the UK, so that's Terrence Crawford. Earl Spence has fought in New York, so that's Terrence Crawford. Earl Spence in the Barclays, Terrence Crawford in Madison Square Garden. Earl Spence then fought in LA in the Staples Center. Earl Spence then fought in Vegas, right? Earl Spence fights in Dallas at AT&T Stadium and does 30 to 40,000. It may be more, I don't know. But I'm saying is at the end of the day, Bud not doing that. He only doing that in Omaha, Nebraska. He's not doing that in, uh, when he fought Amir Khan in Madison Square Garden, right? These are the facts, bro. Just because he beat Errol don't mean, oh, man, he, he, deserve, he, he deserves it. He's the bigger attack. No, he's not. You can go look at his numbers. You can look at his numbers. The highest... The highest pay-per-view Terrence Crawford's ever did is with that man from DeSoto, Texas. You could say the same for L. Spence, right? But look at L. Spence's other fights. He did very well with Mikey Garcia. He did very well with Dennis Ugas. He did very well with Kerr Brook. Even Lamar Peterson fight very well. L. Spence puts busting seats because people like how he fight. He gonna put on the show. He action packed. Terrence action packed too. But there's more of a market for L. Spence than Terrence Crawford. You can't sit there and say, oh, Earl lost. There's no market for him. That's not how it works. You don't have no market because you lost one fight. And the person he lost to was looked at as pound for pound. And it was for undisputed. What are we talking about? But these are the things I'm talking about. Had a bud buddy say, uh, had a bud buddy say, um, I just read a comment. I'm going to cook him in a minute. Had a bud buddy say, <laughs> I told you, ain't no safety on no Glock over here. I ain't run from no smoke. You know what I'm saying? That's one thing y'all going to know about boss. We don't run from no smoke. We address every comment. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, hold on. I'm going to cook him in a minute. Hold on. Uh, all I'm saying is at the end of the day, you have to separate your feelings from boxing. That's all I'm saying. When it comes to Terrence Crawford, he's a great fighter. I've been saying he's a great fighter from day one. The Bud Buddies ignore that and focus on, oh, well, you, well how's Terrence Crawford? You want me to lie? You want me to sit here and say Terrence Crawford is a, a, a better draw than L. Spence? Terrence Crawford not even a better draw right now than Danny Garcia. What are we talking about? And then I got see fought once last year or the year before last year. <laughs> With who? Jose Benavidez Jr. Danny Garcia might be might be doing better numbers than Crawford. And Crawford's look and just because these dudes doing better numbers than them does not mean no Crawford sir. A lot of y'all can't see this is why this is why I got a boxing channel. Because I gotta cook niggas. Who get emotional? They get emotional and butt hurt, and I gotta cook them. Pause. No diddy. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Pause down.